My name is Charlotte Aldrich. I am Director of Public Services and Communities at the RSA. The idea behind this series is to invite leaders of cities across the country to tell us about the problems that they face in their particular places and to understand the extent to which the powers which are becoming newly devolved to combined authorities enable those city leaders to respond to the particular problems they face in their areas. We all know that productivity is a challenge. We do punch above the national average, but nevertheless, I believe that there's a huge way to go, both in terms of productivity and in fairness across the city, a city that's relatively well off. If you're poor in Bristol, you're poorer than if you're poor in Liverpool because you're spending a greater proportion of what you've got on, on your housing. If you look at the North as an economy, we'd actually be about the 21st um, economy in the world. You know, we have a significant resource in the North and we're not um, pulling together in the way that we need to. And why do you think there's been a persistent skills problem in the North East? I think it's, a, it's quite a long-term generational thing. Partly it stems from a legacy of um, heavy industry, of people who expected it to work in a particular career and that those industries are gone and that we're still adjusting to that. The benefits of local growth is that it allows people in places to really contribute to and benefit from the prosperity of their particular place. We wanted a geographical mix of cities and leaders from across, across the country because we wanted to reflect the different challenges that each of those face, but also the different opportunities they have in their devolved settlements and their current structures. And do you think the country becomes more difficult to run if different city regions have differing levels of service entitlement. This is about improvement for all. I do think that there ought to be a general political driver, and this is what national central government should be about, about adjusting for fairness. Actually, there are bigger, there are bigger divides within our cities, and I've just been discussing the same with Richard Lees in Manchester. We've both got major divides in our cities that will be... A, uh, a break on progress if we, don't, if we don't address those more effectively. If we have those powers and that resource and we can work with our local partners, our um, performance is off the scale compared to imposed um, situations from London. We have um, experience of that in the West Yorkshire, Leeds City region area through the devolved youth contract. Our success rate of young people moving from being neat into sustained employment and training is eight out of 10. The DWP equivalent program is only reaching three out of 10. And that speaks volumes to me because they don't engage locally with business to find out what the real barriers to employing our young people actually are. They don't work with the colleges to make sure that the skills um, are being developed and they, they don't work adequately with us to pull the whole thing together. Well, I think what we've seen is that um, economic powers devolved to local places provide a platform for growth, and additional growth helps us to pay down national debt, it helps us to pay for public services. And uh, where, those, uh, where the proceeds of growth are, are distributed effectively, it allows people to grow and thrive through public sector and private sector investment. I'm emphasising very strongly that we need to sort out not just the transport within our own travel to work area, we desperately need to link up to the rest of the UK. The danger is, at the moment, our transport is planned all to London. London is great, I have absolutely nothing against London, I think we all benefit from London's success, but it's really important that as core cities, as Bristol and Cardiff, that we have a relationship with the Midlands and the North. To be able to access opportunity, you need to be able to get there on good public transport, you need to get there in a way where you, know, you need somewhere to live, you need places that function, and a lot of that is in the deal around infrastructure and investment. But the other side is about a real investment in our people uh, who drive the productivity and the future um, growth of the North East. It's time that nationally government follows the example of local government in actually really getting underneath some of these issues, pulling together, working 
collectively on behalf of the people that we, we look after and represent.